What's going on guys? PBT Benji here, and I hope you're having a great week so far. Today we're going to be taking off the Matilda, Crusader Mark II, and how was the last one? Valentine. We're taking out the Valentine. And the second battle of El Alamein. Hopefully you guys got to participate in this sort of realistic battle for the second battle of El Alamein. El Alamein 2. So this is uh, probably one of my last ones I was, be, I was able to play. I was a little confused at first because the battle of El Alamein, the second battle of El Alamein, actually happened on 24th of October, 1942, and it lasted until 11th of, 11th of November, 1942. And that's, that's where I was confused a little bit, but I kind of have, like, a reason why they did it now, because back on October, they didn't have patch 1.55 out yet, so... Patch 1.55 was, of course, Royal Armor update for War Thunder, and I'm definitely looking forward to Patch 1.57. We've got a lot of good tanks coming out, or at least a few tanks, and a lot of good planes. I'm looking, I'm actually looking forward to some of the boat planes that are coming out. With. So, uh, as you guys can see, the Matilda is super dog ass slow. It took me good what? We're already two and a half minutes into this. And I haven't even made it up the, uh, the mountain here to be close. So I'm probably gonna end up skipping forward here a little bit to show you a little bit of action. Alright, here we are. We're in a little bit of action here with the uh the Dunsil tank. They consider it a heavy tank for this uh, battle rating, so. Nothing too exciting gonna happen here. I mean, you got you're stuck with a 40 millimeter. That's I don't know. It's it's an okay weapon, I guess. I think the biggest problem with with it for me is it doesn't shrapnel enough, especially with its really really small size. Now, if you have the uh, German, not the, the Panzer 3J, but the uh, the Panzer 4 F1 with 75 millimeter, you can actually get a, a decent. If you penetrate with around a decent amount of shrapnel from it. Uh, of course, the Panzer 3J has that 50mm anti tank gun, which gets a APCR round, I believe. And then also, you're in this match, you're also going up against like Martyr 3s, which has that stupid, stupid amount of penetration. It's like 135. Gosh dang, I had a lot of fun playing that. I think I had more fun playing the Martyr 3 on this event than I did any of the British games. So This was, I believe, also my last match, one of my last matches I've played. Like, I mean, that was a pretty good match. I think I'm going to end here to keep the salt from flowing. You know what happens when the salt starts flowing. Uh, you People tend to be stupid. So, going over the Matilda tank a little bit, it's got a decent amount of armor compared to you know any of the other tanks in the match. As you can see, I'm taking a lot of hits. A lot of them aren't penetrating. I did lose my commander and my loader, and also my track. So it's kind of not fun with when you uh, end up with only two crew members left in the tank. And coming up. I guess uh, War Thunder found it to be an issue that when you're down to one uh, crew member, you're no longer like a viable tank, but they're changing that to where if you have one tank left, you're going to be able to still at least fire the gun or switch it to the driver. So. Alright, yeah, I, I didn't have much success at the very beginning of this match, but the good stuff is coming, guys. Next, I took out the Crusader Mark II. Uh, as you can see, uh, Enzo, well, actually, the guy's name is Igon. I believe he was Russian. I did I did end up chatting with him at the end of this. Tell him, hey, man, you did a great job of uh, defending point B while I, uh, well, actually, 
so I'm getting ahead of myself on this now. Alright, so we're losing B. This is after I died with Matilda. I'm driving back up here. Cut out a lot of the, uh, the drive time up here. And... I'm gonna get up here. Igon, you'll see a little bit more of him later in this match. There we go. I see my first tank. Oh, had the camera position wrong. There we go. We set him on fire first. He's running the Panzer 4E. Uh, my bad on that. I thought we, uh, if you heard earlier, it was a Panzer 4 F1, but now it's a Panzer 4E. Took him out. I'm like, okay, I saw an enemy tank pop up over here. So me and I got to come on over. I believe I have my tank researched a little more than he does because I'm able to climb this rock a little easier than what he was. At least it felt like it did. And uh, I'm looking around, scanning around. Oh! Now, with it being a realistic battle, I normally would not see him. But in the replays, you can see the other tanks. So that's why I'm able to. That's why you're able to see him a lot quicker than what I would have been in the real battle itself. So, took out that guy. He was sitting on B, I believe. And I'm like, oh, look at this guy. He's just kind of sitting over here. Let's go ahead and take him out. Shot him once. Shot him twice. There we go. Got him out. Igon. I got the kill before Igon did. Because we thought the tank was actually more to the left. So I figured I'd let him go for the other guy, but he wasn't even moving. So, we move along here. As you can see, there is another tank approaching. I don't see him. So I'll just come on over and uh, start capping B. That way we don't lose this match. If you don't notice, there is one guy sitting all the way over there by C. He's not... He's actually guarding C because he's thinking that there's going to be another a couple more tanks coming that way. But in this case, I don't believe there was any more tanks. I'd have to go back through the, uh, the replay. I really don't want to do that right now. So here, here me and I got our uh, captain B right now. I don't realize if there's a tank behind me. So we got the tank cap, I mean the point caps. And I'm moving over to actually one of my favorite spots on this map when I'm uh, defending a point. Especially uh, over there. On the hill, you can see there's a lot of foliage. I like actually hiding up in that foliage. When you're sitting still, you're not you're not gonna be noticed as well. But in this case, I actually started moving around another way to get uh, to be able to find the tanks that were coming up. Because I believe that guy actually killed one of our tanks over here. So I'm coming over here to try to find him. And there we go. I spot. Oh, there it is. Panzer four F1. I guess I was right. So I hit him once. Hit him in ammo, but some reason it didn't explode now, as you guys can see you're actually able to shoot through the buildings I don't know if that is a glitch or what but I discovered that early on I'm like all right well I guess I can use that to sort of my advantage if they don't see me then I can at least and I know the general area where they're going I can at least fire through the building and hit them also made kind of a mistake there, hitting that tree, knocking it over. I think the guy was uh, thinking I was heading over towards that way. As he turned around, and there he is. And here comes, here's where I'm showing you guys about the, the frustration of the shrapnel in these rounds. I mean, I'm shooting this guy from behind. A lot of it's definitely getting absorbed by the tanks and the engine. But, you know, you'd expect at least, you know, a little bit of that round to go through most of that engine. I mean, you barely don't have very much uh, armor. You're having to penetrate on the backside. So I'm going through. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, eliminate his crew members. But it's it's becoming very frustrating at this point for me. So I'm going, you know, I'll just, I'll just drive around here and see if I can get him here. There we go. Hit him there. Took out his commander and his gunner. I believe he's still trying to repair. Hit him again. See that? See how that round just kind of uh, uh, ricocheted off the side there? There we go. Set him on fire again. 
Will that be it? And yes, that will be it. And I'm always keeping my head on a swivel, so I'm looking for enemies. Where are those pesky enemies at? Oh, there he is. Didn't see him when I was playing. Still looking around for him. And that German Kraut definitely killed him. If I would have seen him, I would have at least gotten one shot into him. But, yeah. You live, you learn. Alright, now we're over here onto Igon. Seeing what he's doing. He is definitely putting a hurting onto this guy. I'm going to count around, what is that? Four? Five? Six now. Seven. Eight. And nine. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Ten. That's ten rounds right there. Eleven. Well, there he goes. He finally dies off. <laughs> See, and that's that was one of the like the frustrating things about this this matchup was just not a, the the 40 millimeter uh, cannons do not shrapnel enough. I know it's a smaller round compared to, you know, German 88s and American 76, or even the, uh, the 17 pounder. Yeah, so that's that's kind of like the frustrating thing about the 40 millimeter on these early uh, bridge tanks. Yeah, I mean, you get later in. Oh, hold on, got some more action here. I got got a. Panzer looks like a Panzer IV right behind him. Looks like he's going to drive forward. He's going to get out of that cap zone as quickly as, as, as he can possibly get. Oh, I uh, can't see anything. There we go. Uh, looks like he just starts firing. And of course, you know, this doesn't, it doesn't look very well for me when I'm, because I can't, I can't really see this in, uh, when I'm actually playing the game. Uh, looks like he's taking shots at these other guys. There we go. Looks like you got an ammunition explosion on that gentleman. And here comes Baron Smash. Baron Smash was the one who was sitting at sea earlier today. Or I mean earlier in the match. And if it wasn't for him, Igon would be in. He would definitely be bygone. So Baron Smash looks like he's engaging another enemy. Looks like a Panzer. What's it? It's gonna show me here in a sec. Or not? I believe it's a Panzer F4. I mean F F1. I'm sorry. But yeah, as you can see, he's, he's gonna take multiple rounds to kill this guy right here too. I think I actually believe that's a Panzer III with a 50 millimeter. And he gets hit. Fires. And there he is, he's taking these out. So we'll go back to the Igon. He is, oh, and the, that is me rolling up as you, as you can see, one of the rounds, one of my rounds actually came across and started firing at him. But, uh, poor Igon, he got taken out from behind by Wind Warrior in the Panzer 3 F. All right, here I am rolling up in my Valentine Mark I tank. Also with a 40 millimeter gun and oh, herp a derp. This guy not paying attention. He just drives right on by me. And I'm gonna go ahead and take full advantage of that because you don't pay attention to simulator or realistic battles while you're on fourth underground force, you're gonna die. I set his engine on fire, took it out. Keep going here. I did not kill him at that point, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head towards the cat circle as best as I can. Take a pot shot at him, make sure that guy is not alive. So. Yeah, he's definitely dead. No, there's still somebody on me. Got his gunner. If I would have taken out his gunner at this point, I probably would be dead and most certainly would have lost the match. Going, got him. Got his driver. There we go. Finally got him. I 
I thought to myself, well, we'll just go ahead and uh, kill this guy real quick and then head towards the cap circle. I think we have enough time. So that's what I do. I drive over here. Use a little tactical shoot for the buildings. See if he's even there. There he is. He finally shows up. I gave him a distract a little bit on that shot. Fire the buildings. Got him. Hit him. Got him driver. I don't know what happened there. He should have been able to shoot me, but he didn't. So I go through. Took out his gunner, his commander, and finally took out his loader. There we go. Time to head back to the cap. And at this point, there was a fellow teammate that was yelling in chat. He's like, get to the cap, get to the cap. And I'm seeing myself, bro, don't tell me how to play the damn game. That's what I did. I went ahead and headed back towards the cap. Yeah, in the match, I actually tapped out. Once I hit the cap, it started, uh... Started taking down their points. At this moment in time, we only had 555 tickets left. They checked the game while I was going over the wall. It's cutting very, very close. They had probably right around 1,000 tickets. Or over a thousand tickets. I think it's like more like two thousand. Uh, that hit pretty close for artillery. I see this guy rolling up here. I definitely have the uh, the moment of surprise on him. Boom! Took out his driver, injured his gunner. As you guys can see, the Baron Smash is rolling up. He's gonna come up and assist me. There we go. I back up. He's like, oh hey, hello sir. Where'd you come from? Pull around. I hit him. I had a lucky shot on that. Took out his loader and his turret ring. Extinguish the fire. Then I'm going to go ahead and fire around. Oh, he ricocheted right off. Over his gunner. Got his gunner. This one should, uh, yep. Got his loader. This should be the kill shot. Oh, and that's how you win the game. All right, guys. Don't forget to hit like, uh, dislike, comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As much as I did playing it, I definitely hope to see you guys out there on the battlefield and maybe see me out there. I play on a North American and European server. So, like this picture of the British soldier giving the V sign. We got the V, they got the D. Alright guys, hope to see you out there some other time. Take care. And also, I forgot to take a picture of the post-battle results. Here they are. And yeah, I was shooting myself in the foot because of that. So, thanks guys, take care, have a good one, and hope to see you out there on the battlefield sometime.